All right, welcome back to our Arboretum, folks. This is a series where we have woods from all over the world, and we give you a nice, good, deep dive in the practical experience pieces of it so that you know what you're getting into before you spend your hard-earned cash. All right, let's dig right in. Let's end this controversy once and for all. This is Brazilian lace wood. Now, the word lace wood gets tossed around a lot. Australian, silky oak, leopard wood, which is also from South America, which in about two minutes we'll get into that one and you'll see some of the massive differences. This is from South America. This is Brazilian lace wood. Now, the three woods that I've mentioned, silky oak, which is Australian lace wood, and leopard wood, there are three different genuses. Now, meaning they're three different tree species altogether. There are some pretty good similarities between silky oak and Brazilian lace wood, but I mean they're they're from different trees. The silky oak is actually a conifer. I've heard on different debates them talking about for both so it doesn't matter which but that it could be difficult to plane due to see these spots you can actually feel it there's a, a slight variation in depth very slight it that that's bull on either side personally I've used it in over a dozen projects and from large to small items turned it you know I've done a game table inlays borders bow ties diamonds boxes more not to mention I went through about 40 feet of rough sawn lumber and not one time have I got any tear out I, I'd say it's one of the easiest woods to work with the average dry weight is about 3.1 pounds per board foot the Janka hardness is 840 and the end grain is diffused porous cost range about 15 to 20 dollars a board foot i hope this helps clear things up and without further ado let's jump into leopard wood here is leopard wood i'm sure you can immediately see some of the differences yourself i'll bring it on in it's darker color the rays or spots the flecking is different the hardness is way different and uh, this tree is from South America it's typically from Brazil but this is another one that gets confused with lace wood leopard wood is a medium to dark reddish brown all of the flecks giving it the leopard look are slightly depressed this is one where tear out can actually be a bit of an issue and it's, I don't think it's so much of the flex as it is the, the how hard this is. Where lace wood is around 840, the jank on this is 2150. So, it, I mean, you can tell by the feel, it's obviously very, very different wood. You get two pieces side by side and it's super obvious. The average dry weight is about 4.6 pounds of board foot, so that's another piece of it that's obviously different and it is diffuse porous like lace wood and the cost range is about 15 to 20 dollars a board foot so those are the only two similar similarities and just because we're doing this look there's your differences do those look like the same piece of wood from the same tree no you're right it's not on to black palmera, aka black palm. It's dark brown, black with yellow streaks. Black palm doesn't produce coconuts like its cousin red palm. Oops, see, I can't even slide it with the, the splinters in this thing. Let me pull a couple over here. Slide one across the top. This is getting Everyone likes to say black palm tree, but it's not actually a tree. It's not a, a hardwood or a softwood. It's categorized as a flowering plant. Also, the heartwood being the center of the tree is typically what we use across the world for lumber or slabs. 
but not this wood. The inside is real smushy of the tree, um, and it's useless for timber. This is actually the outer protective layer. That's the usable part. Um, it's very, very fibrous. And on a personal note, prepare yourself for splinters, period. It's the most splintery wood that I've ever used. Don't ever, if you ordered or something, don't put your hand in the box and just run your hand down it trying to grab it or feel it because you're going to end up getting splinters all over the place. Yeah, so this is about 5.1 pounds of board foot, so it's, so it's got some weight to it for its size. The Janka is about 1850, so it's it's close to Hickory's hardness, right around there. It's about $35 a board foot. Since it's not uh, an actual tree, it's not diffuse or ring porous. It's a fiber bundle, is what it is. Do you see that? This is a fibrous bundle that we use as wood. So that's the story of black palm. Here is marble wood, another South American wood. Very interesting yellow wood with a marbled striping ranging from like a medium to a dark brown, sometimes black. As cool as it appears to us in its native area, it's actually used in as a utility lumber because it's a very heavy hard wood. Personally, I like I like turning this wood. This it makes for excellent mallets. That's actually what this piece is. I'll end up getting three mallets out of this three by three by twelve, and very cool bandsaw boxes as well. That's a another thing just because of that stripe pattern that you can see. It just side to side to side just runs all the way through and no two pieces are ever going to be the same it's very abstract so the average dry weight is about 5.3 pounds a board foot so it's it's heavy the janka is about 25 30 so it's a very hard wood and it's another diffuse porous wood it's going to cost about 30 dollars a, a board foot but i also feel like i should mention um, it has a high natural resin content to it, so proper drying is a must. It'll be prone to, to crack. I think it's safe. Bam. This one's still coated in wax, but... Okay, I hope that this got to shed some, some light on some new woods for you guys so you get a better understanding of what you're getting into. This is, uh, we have no sponsorships or anything like that, so if you hit that subscribe, hit that like. It's massively appreciated. Um, all right, thanks again, and Progressive Ideas out. We'll see you on the next one.